and we jump and you hit P, you can hear the ding. But if you hit the P again, there is no sound. What is up you guys? So today I will be showing you a simple tutorial video on how to make a pause uh, situation for your game. So first off, just open up a project. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. This one is just a third person template. But the very first thing you're going to want to do is you're actually going to go to whatever the blueprint is for your specific project. This is the third person project. So this is the third person character blueprint. Open it on up. And once you are inside, this is your event graph. So when you go to your event graph, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type in keyboard. And let's say we are wanting to press the, we will press the P button to pause. So now that you've got this, that means when you press the letter P uh, on your keyboard, that is what is actually going to be causing. Uh, the game to actually pause. The next thing we are going to want to do is over here on the left hand side we're going to simply want to create a variable and we are going to name this uh, is paused or paused whatever it, it doesn't matter as long as you know what you're doing and just make sure that this is a variable type that is a boolean. The other thing I want to talk about too is when you have your key specific, uh, make sure that you do execute when pause. So basically what happens is things are still going to be running and are going to be able to execute when paused. Otherwise everything is going to freeze up and you're not going to be able to actually back out of the pause when you're ready to resume your gameplay. So the next thing we are going to do is we're going to also want to make sure that in the in pause section, when we compile a blueprint, the part that says end is paused, we want to make sure that that is unchecked. Because if that is checked, it is going to immediately pause and it's going to create a lot of uh, confusion on your end to try and make that work. So the next thing we are going to want to do is over here where your valuable is to simply click and drag in and get the is paused option. And so what that is doing, it is calling exactly the is paused. And so when you are coming off the pressed, we're going to want to make a branch. So with this branch, what we're going to do is we're going to draw, draw in the condition for is paused. And we are going to be able to use these two options. The first option is like uh, if it is paused, um, we want it to unpause and then unpause. If it is not paused, we want it to make sure that it is paused and then is paused. So what we are going to do now in order to do that is we're just going to actually use one of the features that Unreal has, and that is the set game paused feature. And we're going to want to do two of these. And if you ever want to uh, get two of them, just simply do Control C and V, and it pastes it, uh, just like if you were using like a Google Doc. And so what we are going to do is we are just going to drag these over and give a little bit of space. And from the uh, is paused option again, we are going to want to drag this in and do is set. And we're going to want to do that for both of these. So if the branch is uh, true that it is paused, we are going to want to set is paused and from set is paused to set game is paused. We leave these unchecked because if it is paused, we want to make sure that these are actually being paused, like unpaused. If the game is not paused, we want to go down to set paused and the game is paused because if it's not paused and we want to pause it, we want to make sure that it is paused. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to compile and save. Okay, so once you have compiled and saved, go into your project and click play. And so when you're playing it, you can actually see that when you jump and hit P, it's going to pause. And when you hit P again, it's going to unpause. Now that's really, really important. And I want to hone that down for you guys. Make sure that when you have the keyboard selection, hit execute when paused. If that doesn't tick, all this right here will not run because everything is going to be frozen. By taking that, you're giving it special permission to still run in the background, which will allow it that when paused, you're going to be able to unpause it. Now for the second part here, I'm actually going to show you how to add sound specifically uh, to your project. So what I simply did was I went out, I got me a free non-copyright sound, 
and I imported it into the engine itself. So now what you can do is here in the beginning, if you want to have a sound play, you can drag off the pressed and do play sound. So when you click play sound, what's happening is when that button is pressed, it will play the sound that we want and from there activate the rest of the code. So when you hit compile and save and we play this, you can hear it being activated. Now if you only want it to be activated once, like let's say when you pause it, we'll just put that back together and we will do play sound and we will just simply shift it to where you want to be. So depending on if you want the sound to be activated when the game is paused or when it's unpaused, you just simply put it to whatever section of the code uh, that you want it to be activated in. But like let's say we want it to be activated when the game uh, is paused. So if the game is not paused, it will play the sound of the ding and from there it will activate the pause process. So when you click play again and we jump and you hit P, you can hear the ding. But if you hit the P again, there is no sound. So that is how to make a simple pause menu along with how to add sound as well. And without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day.